the PNP has withdrawn police security assigned to the Tulfo brothers, admitting that Erwin Tulfo's outburst on air against a former general and current DSWD secretary was a factor, but not the only reason for the decision. Ryan Ang with the story. The Philippine National Police admitted that one of the factors in the recall of Erwin Tulfo and his sibling's security details was the way he disrespected DSWD Secretary Rolando Bautista, a former commanding general of the Philippine Army. Sino ba maniniwala sa amin kung sasabihin natin na walang uh, kinalaman yun? No? It has something to do with, the, with these comments to, of course, to the, the uh, Secretary of DSWD, but that is not the main reason. The PNP says some of the security detail from the Police Security and Protection Group were actually scheduled to undergo a periodic review. The PSPG chief also explained that the Tulfo siblings were provided security details because they passed their threat assessment requirement. They also acquired an exemption from the COMELEC. The outcome of the review will uh, will uh, be the basis of if whether we will uh, continue or not. So hindi lang po naman siya yung mag may ganong case. Meron pong mga ibang uh, individuals that uh, we recalled uh, for a periodic review of security availability. Albayalde added that having a security detail is like securing a license for a gun. It is a privilege and not a right and can be revoked anytime. Paano kung bibigyan mo ng security ang isang tao at wala naman siyang gagawin kundi magsisigaw uh, dyan, magbully and anybody. Not only, not only members of the PNP or members of the AP or uh, secretary for that matter. No? Eh, Magganon siya and yet he is being protected by uh, police personnel. What would the people uh, say? Erwin has apologized and asked for forgiveness from the former general, his family, friends and supporters. He also said that he is willing to face any punishment but wish that his family members be spared from the issue. Wala pong karapatan sino man ang bastusin ng isang tao, lalo pat ang taong ito ay nagsilbi pala sa pamahalaan at nakipaglaban po sa mga kalaban ng pamahalaan. Erwin has had a security detail since the time of former President Erap Estrada. Because of death threats, he has allegedly been receiving. And according to him, based on a PMP evaluation three months ago, there are still threats to his life. But he did not argue anymore. Siguro, uh, tingin ho nila yung threat mababa na despite Ayun. the fact na may mga Kita naman sa social media yung mga pagbabantaho sa buhay natin. Pero we just have to suck it up siguro ma'am and uh, move on and siguro brace ourselves and pray to God. Meanwhile, Erwin's brother Rafi questioned the decision of the authorities to include him in the sanction for what his brother did. But he apologized to the family of Chairman Bautista for what happened. It hurts. Hindi ko naman kasalanan kung apelido kay Tulfo. Nakapagkasalanan ng isang kapatid namin dinadamay lahat. Bakit ganon? Kung may kasalanan ng isa sa kapatid namin, sana yung walang kasalanan, wag idadamay. Sana po, let's grow up. You guys grow up. Wala akong mabangit yung tao. Come on. Be mature. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.